Greetings, my beautiful lovelies. It's Emmy. Welcome back. Today, I'm going to be making a prison recipe called Neutral Loaf. Now, if you haven't seen my prison recipe series, I will direct you to the playlist up above, and I'll also put it in the description down below. The previous recipes that I made were made actually by those that are incarcerated with ingredients that they could find either the commissary or they could find from the cafeteria. Now, today, I'm going to be making a recipe that is actually made by the prison canteen and given to prisoners as a form of punishment. It is called Neutral Loaf. It goes by many other names, including Gru, Special Management Meal, Disciplinary Meal. And the point of this meal is that if you've done some kind of infraction, instead of a typical meal, you're given Neutral Loaf for all of your meals and you're not even given utensils to eat it. So you're expected to eat it with your hands. And again, it's a form of discipline. So some states here in the US have actually outlawed this practice, calling it cruel and unusual punishment, but it's still used in many other states. States. So there's not one recipe for neutral loaf. Any penitentiary can create their own recipe for neutral loaf as long as it follows the nutritional guidelines for what prisoners are allotted. So in my research, I found several different recipes, including New York State, Illinois, Ohio, Washington, and Maryland. So here on YouTube, Wolf Pit did the Maryland version, and I thought I'd switch it up and do a different state. So I'm going to be doing Illinois today. So I'm going to whip up a batch of this and see what it's like. And if you guys are interested, I will attempt the other versions as well, because they seem to be quite different. For example, Ohio's version basically consists of taking things from a typical meal, like a serving of salad, a serving of spaghetti, a serving of green beans, two slices of white bread, some milk or Kool-Aid, and a chocolate chip cookie, and then just grinding that all together and forming it into a loaf. So that sounds interesting. I might do that one next. Let me know in the comments if you want to see that one. But today I'm going to do Illinois because it actually sounds a lot like a typical meatloaf. But I noticed the key ingredient that is missing is salt. There is no seasoning in terms of salt whatsoever. Now remember, this is supposed to be a disciplinary food. So it's not supposed to taste very good. But the ingredients in there don't sound too bad. So I'm very curious to see how this really is. So what I've got in my pan here is two ounces of ground beef that I've fried up. And two ounces is really not much meat at all. Maybe a quarter cup. Four ounces of canned spinach, which looks pretty terrible. There's your fiber. Four ounces of canned carrots that have been drained and chopped. Four ounces of canned beans. Four ounces of applesauce, one ounce of tomato paste. So far it doesn't sound too bad. I mean, applesauce is a little unusual, but not terrible, right? Half cup of potato flakes, which is just dried mashed potatoes. One cup of breadcrumbs, two ounces of milk powder, a little additional protein there, since there's not much meat, and one teaspoon of garlic powder. So that's our seasoning. So it says to mix everything together. It looks pretty dry. Now some of the other recipes I saw, like New York's for example, are, is a little bit different. It sounds a little bit more like bread. It contains yeast. This does not have any yeast. This also doesn't really have much fat in it too. So it is kind of coming together like a dough. Now I've got myself a loaf pan here and I'm gonna butter the pan. And to make it easy to take the loaf out, I'm gonna line it with some parchment paper. So now we're just gonna fill this up. Press that into the pan. So it is very dry, but it didn't say to add any water, so I'm not going to. Okay, so that's what it looks like. We're gonna pop this into a 300 degree oven and cook it for 40 minutes or until it reaches an internal temperature of 155 degrees and then we'll give it a taste. Alrighty, so I am back. Here is my neutral loaf. I've been letting it cool. It's still a little bit warm. I'm gonna release it from the sides using a paring knife. Now we're just gonna pull it out using the parchment paper. Here we go. Look how easy that makes it. Hmm, doesn't look too bad actually. 
So here's the neutral leaf. It actually has managed to stay together. I was a bit concerned that it'd be a little bit too dry because the only moisture we really added to this was what was in the canned vegetables and the applesauce. No water, no milk, nothing. So yeah, let's go ahead and give this a taste. Got myself a serrated knife. Here we go. Just cut this like we would regular meat loaf. Look at that. It stayed together. Look at that, that's what it looks like. So let's give this a taste. There we go. Itadakimasu. Mmm. Now, it's not terrible. It's not totally disgusting or repulsant in any kind of way. It just tastes very bland. The texture is actually more bread-like. It's kind of fluffy, yet very dense, but we didn't add any water to this, so it has a slightly crumbly texture, but much more bread-like than, say, like meatloaf. I don't even really detect any of the meat in there, but it does have some flavor. The garlic powder gives this some flavor. I can taste the beans in there and the vegetables. It doesn't taste terrible, but it is very bland. There is no salt really in this, except what was in the canned vegetables. So it does taste pretty bland, but it's not totally disgusting by any means. It's just pretty boring. Mm -hmm. In terms of texture, it kind of reminds me of the dumpling portion of chicken and dumplings. It's kind of got a moist kind of bread like texture to it. In terms of flavor, this actually wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. Pretty nutritious in terms of the ingredients we added in here. I think the real punishment of eating neutral loaf is the fact that you would eat this day after day for every single meal and not to use any cutlery. That definitely feels kind of dehumanizing. But In of itself, it's actually not too bad. I think actually my chickens would love this. It's got some vegetables, it's got some grains in there. So that's where this is gonna go. I'm gonna use this to feed my chickens and I think that's the psychological aspect of neutral loaf. You are treated much like an animal. Here's some food, you're not given any utensils. Eat it and eat it every day. So there you have it, there's neutral loaf. Let me know down in the comments if you're interested in seeing the other recipes of neutral loaf that I've collected. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed that one. I hope you guys learned something. Please share this video with your friends. It really helps me out. Follow me on social media, like this video and subscribe, and I shall see you in the next one. To live, take care, bye.